trail rider five star. Excuse me, I just got to eating. Coming at you with another video. Um, we're going to pull the transfer case out of this, out of my FJ40. And I think I got the axle right. And we're going to change out, the, I mean, the axle drive shaft out of it. The drive shaft is tucked right up into here. So it's really tight. I'm hoping I have no issues. So that's going to be our, our video today. Unfortunately, uh, this truck is so big and my, my bench is so small. So I'm just going to have to talk you through what I'm doing. Well. There's four screws that we got to pull, and that will take the transfer case loose. Because you can actually pull the transfer case right out of this. And I kind of, I don't know. I think we're going to end up taking it out through the back, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure this is going to work. I'm, you know, just trying different things to try it, to do it. I want to double check, make sure I didn't loosen that dry pin up on here because we're going to take it, yeah I did, I got to take it off the back. Maybe it was the front. Well, we'll find out. We'll take it off the front here. I had it out once. Because if you take the dry shaft out, it lets you pull it out, pull it apart easier. Dry pin out, and dry pins out. Push the dry shaft back. Let's see which way I had it. Take it out. It's got a pop up. Yeah, I need my clamp on right here. It's got a pop up, and I got to go up into here. That ain't gonna work. That's not hooked up right now. But it is, I'm dealing with the magnets in the motor. It kind of wants to go beyond it. There we go. Got it. Yeah, this drive cup's the problem. That's the weak spot of this setup. Um, like I said, uh, got it out. Like I said, uh, FMS is hard to get a hold of. And I will say that. It's like, uh, there we go. We'll pull it ahead. Just kind of drive, let the, there it comes. And pull the drive shaft. There's the transfer case. We got it out. Right here. Right here's the transfer case. And I'll show you what the issue is. is remember where the, Flip, I put it. Oh, it's still on the, on the back of the unit, uh, motor. Look at the wear. See where that the wear in that? Let's look at that wear right there already. So that's what I don't like. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try to replace. 
it's set up. I'm going to replace that and I'm going to go to use a different setup. I got this setup. So and hopefully these drive pins will fit through here. I've had that issue before with the last drive shaft. Okay, we have the issue with the uh, last dry shaft too, set up. This runs dry, really small flipping dry pins. And well, guess what? The threads are different. So what I got to do is, I know hopefully you guys are catching this. I got to put set screws in it and I have dry pins. And hopefully they'll hold up. Cool here. Might let them come out easy. There we go. Wow, it's amazing. Alright. Now hopefully these are the right size. It is. really whipping oh duh. it's right here I didn't take it out it's right here I actually ground um, this down so that it would uh, fit in there better well hopefully it's gonna go in it's gonna capture the the whole area like that. See then we can put this piece on there. And I'm, I'm hoping is all this is gonna go back in there. Go in, slide this in like so. I know you're not seeing it. Unfortunately, I have nothing to set you on so you can see me do it. Let me do this. Give me a second here to set up the camera. Anyway, what we gotta do, we gotta slide this transfer case back in here. And I gotta slide it over the rear dry shaft portion, put it back on. Just like that. 
Then we take this piece and cross our fingers. Get it up on the motor. Let me get some my little nose here. I know this is hard to see, but basically I'm just changing out the input shaft on, to the transfer case on this. I'm going to put a little better one, a little stronger setup because. Um, Send with a truck is not that good. I showed you why. But I can understand why they do it. If they did a setup like this in them, they would have to um, charge more. You know? So it is what it is. Spun around where I get my Allen head facing out. There it is. Transmission has got to spin around too. Transfer case, I should say. Question is, if I was to get this in there, did I do it right? <clears throat> so when, I, when I say when I say do it right, I gotta get this trans transfer case rotated around and get the screws so I can get the screws back in it. And so far. Looks like it may work. The screw uh, lighting is really good here. Shorten it just a little bit more. Let shorten it. Oh, darn it. I know how to do it now, so we got it getting it figured out. I just gotta go in here and take it back off. off the transfer case it's just a tad too long Won't let the transmission or transfer case come in the, drop into place so but I didn't want to take too much off I'm gonna take this over to the grinder and I'll shorten it so I'll be back with you guys in a few a little different angle you can see the dry shafts in there now uh, what I got to do is I got to get this transfer case in its spot I think I got it now I think we got it I'm not sure You know, 
it would probably be easier just to pull the, the body off this and just do the chassis, but it's a lot of work, a lot of wiring I got to disconnect to get to it. And I just don't want to do all that. You know what I mean? But you can see the dry shafts in there now. Hopefully it, it'll work. Don't worry, the last thing we hook up is the uh, front dry shaft, and that's easy. See, what they, what they, what they should have done when they built this is tilt that engine, angle that motor in that uh, in here, so that um, with the, the, then that dog bone would probably would have held up longer. Try to put a screw or two in because. With this dry shaft, it's actually closer. And I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is I, I grind a little bit off each end of it. Until it fits in there. Because right now it's extending out, which is kind of what you want. Let's see if I can get my lighting here. Is I never realized how lacking it is when you're doing stuff like this. Funny thing is, I put the original dog bone back on this thing, and it works. It goes right in place. So I'm not sure what's what the deal is here. That'd be nice. In order to get this piece out, I have to take the the mounts off but then you got to spread the rails because it locks into the rails so it's not like really easy to do look at there I got it finally went right in so if this works out I power it up and it, and it dries with no problem and I'll be happy and the grub screws I put in there I tighten the crap out of them hopefully they they'll stay tight Never officially weighed this truck, but I think it's like 13, 14 pounds it weighs. So, I think this will work. So, if you got one of these in you can't get a hold of FMS, I will look up the part and I will post the, in the description of this drive shaft. What you got to do is this piece here, take it apart, it just slides in and out. Grind some off this one and grind some off 
the other shaft until you, until you get a gap in there like I got here. Then take a file and just clean up the splines and slide it together. Uh, that that way it it'll go smaller than what it says in the in the, in the description when you order it. So second here we can hook up the dry shaft to the front axle. The back's all hooked up. My other attempt at doing this, uh, I could not get the, uh, the piece on. So we'll go here and we slide that over the over the axle there. We get our grub screw. I believe it's the bigger one. Could be wrong. The way things are going, it's a, it's a smaller one. It's this one. Put that in there. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, now then, just to be safe with myself, I am going to rotate this thing and make sure things is, is super tight. I should be able to get, oh, look at that, man. That thing is so nice now. That thing is so, doesn't click or anything like the other one did. There we go. All right. Let's tip her over carefully. And I'm getting my little wooden stand. We put power to it. And we'll power it up and see how she works. I'm just using the, the wood part, the carousel. Because before, I'll show you. Yeah, before, I got so much crap in the way here. I need a bigger bench for the, doing this. See, this is the dry shaft and the oak. You can see the wear. You can see the wear right, right in it there. See the wear? See that wear? And the same as on this side, see the wear? See how it goes like that? I did order these. And there's the part number. If you want to do it, I ordered them before I found this setup. So now we'll power this thing up a minute. Always turn the radio on first. Hit the button. Then we'll hit the throttle. Listen to that. No clicking. I like that, don't you? So, um, the part number, let me get the package out of here. Two of the way head it off it. Let me find it. This, I think. Yep. This is the. I, I, I will go to uh, and post a link to it, but it's called Go Back. And uh, and I will find uh, the link on my orders, and I will post it in the description. And now. Everything's cool. I'm happy. Um, that 
it all went together. I don't have to deal with uh, dog bones in a in a 13 pound truck now. So yeah, they're all done. So just out of the way here. So right here it is. This is the one I took out. And you can see how war, how war it is, and it was just a chattering. If you run the if you run this these things and they're chattering, that's why it was doing it. So um, what I can do now that I got this done, we can or I can order up the dry pins for a Losi uh, car and put in there. Then. Uh, just for some scale look, I did order this. I'm gonna I'm gonna install this off camera because it's just a this little snorkel. I'm gonna install off camera. It's gonna go right there, and uh, I'll just shoe glue it to the body, and they give you some nifty little clamps to go on it, and I'll put it right there. So that's gonna be done off off camera, but I'll I'll I'll, I'll do a video showing it being done. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, actually, I've done two videos today, and this is the second one. So, I will see you guys on next time. And as always, this is Trail Rider for 70 saying goodbye and God bless, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.